The perks of being signed to a major record label are many. They have a strong PR marketing team and advertising team to get your brand and music heard immediately. You are provided with the industry's best songwriters, producers and engineers. All the accounting, tour bookings, album artwork and behind the scenes are taken care of by your label. However, the drawbacks are many as well. You're stripped of your creativity. You beat to the drum of your label. You're likely to pay back all the money spent for all your promotions and bookings, which is a lot. You hardly make any money. For every $1,000 of music sold, the artist only earns $23. Bro. You didn't know you were broke, so you broke. were living like you were rich. Because all that was recoupable. Every dress, every time I got in a limo, I mean, I had to pay the record company back. That's what people don't understand. Spill, in the movie, my royalty check was $1,900 some dollars. And then how many albums had you sold to that point? It was right after Unbreak My Heart. Oh my I was gosh. on tour doing Unbreak My Heart, so it was like almost $10 million from that one, another 10 from the first one. So we're well over $20 million. And, and you got $1,900. I promise you, less than $2,000. Oh my God. But I couldn't tell anyone this. I couldn't tell anyone this part. The gag order the whole time, the whole bankruptcy while we were going through it. That's crazy. So I had no story, but everyone was telling my story. Oh, she spent her money. She did this and she did that. Now I'm going to, I can't sit here and say they didn't give me any money. That would be a lie. Yeah, yeah. But nothing, it didn't match the sales. Rapper ASAP Ferg says record labels operate as a music bank. An artist like Tony Braxton or any artist can avoid that type of situation if they read and understand the contract and they understand that the music industry is a business and a record label in some ways is a bank. They are giving you a loan. When they advanced her three, four, five million dollars to make her albums and videos in the 90s, that was a loan. That wasn't free money. An in-demand artist signed with a major label earns $1.50 per an album sold. So we'd imagine it will be much lower for an artist who isn't in demand or signed an unfortunate bogus contract. Many R&B and hip hop artists are turning their backs on the large record labels and going independent to avoid the greedy CEOs. Going independent gives you unlimited creative freedom to pursue and release the music you want your fans to hear. Essentially though, you create your own music. You must sort out producers and engineers yourself. You're in charge of promoting yourself, creating the artwork for your music, organizing music video shoots, booking shows. You're virtually the boss of yourself. It's extremely hard work and can become overwhelming but in the end you get to keep all the revenue from all your hard work and most of all the freedom to cave your own path i know people think that independence means you do it by yourself but independence means freedom i do it with these folks right here glory be to god i claim the victory in the name of the lord let's go living in an age of digital streaming record labels don't have as much control like they used to do Online distribution and streaming has been the forefront for musical outlets these days. Spotify is the fastest growing audio streaming platform that provides music listeners with access to an almost unlimited library of music for an affordable set monthly fee. It's all about getting your name and music out there and it's very easy to do that nowadays yourself with the vast amount of social media and streaming outlets available at your fingertips. Record labels used to rely on television ads or posters on the side of the bus, but since everyone's eyes are glued to their smartphones, you know why artists these days do the promoting themselves. It's a must to put out quality content that will attract masses, which will eventually spread your name like wildfire. Maya was one of the R&B forefronts of the late 90s to 2000s. She garnered many success, 
with many chart-topping hits and winning a Grammy Award. Despite all of her musical accomplishments, Maya admits that she is making much more money now being an independent artist than before when she was topping the charts signed to a major record label. I made more money as an independent entity and artist than I ever have in my lifetime being a major artist, selling millions of albums, charting you know, at number one. What's going on with that? You keep 100% of your money when you're an independent artist. Maya's major independent album, titled Smooth Jones, released under her own label, Planet Nine, earned her her first solo Grammy nod ever. This goes to show that creative freedom can bring out your best work. Ashanti was the poster girl for Murder Inc. until it finally dissolved and eventually she was left labelless. After this, many record labels offered her a contract but she refused all of them. She has a new situation, you left major and you went independent this time around. Yes. Why'd you go independent? Um. Between 2009 and 2012-ish, I got offered seven deals for majors mm -hmm. and each of them involved a 360 and for me, the integrity of that, I just, it couldn't sit with me because that was before they were offering carve outs mm -hmm. and I felt like I built too much to have them dig that much into my pocket. So it was kind of like a choice and a push, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it was, it was scary, it was super scary. I remember being in LA like, damn, did I just like commit career suicide you know what i'm saying like it was really really scary but we went into survival mode i have an amazing team and i felt like this is you know what we needed to do so, so you could have yeah. did a 360 if there was some carve outs that would allow you to keep your money for certain things like yeah something reputable you know mm -hmm. what i mean like it I, they just they just weren't good back then they were way worse than they are now I think. frank ocean had enough of being constrained to a record label when he fulfilled his contractual obligations with Universal Music Group by releasing a 45-minute visual album titled Endless, Frank Ocean released his first independent album, Blonde, under his own label, Boys Don't Cry. Blonde saw great commercial success with 276,000 copies sold in its first week, topping the Billboard 200 album chart. The album also received critical praise for its fully conceptualized, curated, personal vision. With his Blonde release, Ocean is believed to have earned up to $7.50 per album sold, an estimated 500% increase in profit compared with his time with UMG. These three artists are just some of the many who established their name and a fan base with a major record label before forging into the independent field, capitalizing on their previous success. You would think three-time Grammy Award winner Chance the Rapper has sold millions of records, but in reality, he hasn't sold a single record at all. He makes all of his music available for free. The Chicago-born rapper admits his initial plan was to release a mixtape and sign with a major label, but when he was offered three deals, he opted out because he believed he is able to provide his best work without restriction from being signed to a record label. He made history when his critically acclaimed mixtape, Coloring Book, was the first streaming-only album to win a Grammy Award. The three-time Grammy winner releases his material on mixtape sites like That Piff. Already releasing five mixtapes, the rapper earns most of his income from touring and his merchandise. He keeps all of his earnings, not a percent goes to any other party. It seems many artists now are switching to independent as it may provide more rewards financially and creatively. They are using social media like Twitter or even starting a YouTube channel to connect with their fans. Of course, there are drawbacks. If you are starting independent with no prior exposure at all, you've got a tough journey ahead. I'm here trying to squeeze a dollar out of a dime and I ain't even got a cent, man. It takes time, DJ. You've got to be really good at your craft to be able to garner some sort of attention, much like Chance the Rapper. If you're looking for a foot in the door, 
getting signed by a label could be the best option. It's definitely a tough world out there. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to view more of our videos. Please leave a comment and tell us if you think going independent is a good idea.